diseases of tomato i will see the list of important diseases in uh, tomato so my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so coming to the list of important diseases in tomato includes damping off which is caused by pthm species early blight which is caused by alternaria solani late blight which is caused by pythoptera infestans wilt which is caused by fusarium oxysporum pharma species lycopersis bacterial wilt which is caused by burkholderia solanaceae bacterial leaf spot which is caused by xanthomonas campestris pathover vesicatoria mosaic which is caused by tobacco mosaic virus and leaf curl which is caused by tobacco leaf curl virus and the final one is tomato spotted wilt which is caused by tomato spotted wilt virus here damping of early blight late blight and wilt these are caused by fungal diseases whereas bacterial wilt bacterial leaf spot is caused, uh, caused by bacterial disease and the last three mosaic leaf curl and uh, tomato spotted wilt these three are caused by virus so now we'll see uh, in detail about one by one so the first one is the damping off so most of the damping off which is caused by the species of uh, pythium only so if you see the symptoms in uh, uh, tomato tomato damping off in a nursery stages two types of damping off can be observed that is a pre emergence damping off and post emergence damping off the name itself indicates pre emergence damping off in the sense so before they get emerged out from the soil the so before the, the seedlings get emerged out from the soil they killed in the in the soil itself before they get emergence they get killed so a post emergence so which means after emerging of seedlings the seedlings will get killed especially in the young stages or juvenile stages the, the uh, 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 you know uh, the seedlings get killed here the most important uh, 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 symptoms in uh, you know uh, tomato so the two types of symptoms are pre emergence damping off post emergence damping off in pre emergence damping off uh, seedlings get killed before they get emergence whereas in post emergence damping off they get killed after the emerging so toppling or collapsing of seeds also can be observed we can see this is one of the major important diseases in not only in uh, uh, uh production of uh, uh, you know uh, nursery production of a tomato but also in almost all uh, 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 what are all the crops that are propagated through the seedlings that is one of the most important is that is damping off so coming to the management aspects uh, raised bed as told you raised bed uh, as i told you that a raised bed is one of the best management practice for the control of uh, damping off and uh, Uh, provide light uh, efficient amount i mean sufficient amount of light and frequent irrigation and better drainage facilities will be uh, required along with the copper oxychloride drenching of copper oxychloride 0.2% or bodomiter 1% or c treatment with uh, fungal uh, uh, cultures like trichoderma vid which is a bicontrol agent or thirum uh, for uh, 3 g per kg of seed which is a c treatment fungicide uh, which prevent this uh, uh, pre emergence as well as post emergence damping of disease and uh, we can also recommend uh, spraying of metal oxide at the rate of uh, 0.2% at cloudy weather because if it is a cloudy weather there might be a chance of uh, raining so at that time we can uh, recommend uh, metal oxide so the next one is early blight which is caused by alternaria solani so as i told you that the most prominent symptoms for the alternaria solani disease is uh, concentric rings can be seen dark brown color concentric rings can be seen in a later stages after appearance of initially small spots can appear later stages what will happen the small spots coalesces and big concentric rings can be also observed in later stages and beyond that the concentric rings what will happen yellowing of leaves can be observed defoliation and you know uh, falling of leaves will be quite common in rare cases what will happen concentric rings can also be observed on fruits in fruits concentric rings also can be observed in rare cases not in uh, each and every case but very rare cases we can also observe this concentric rings on uh, fruits so coming to the management aspects uh, diseased free stalks should be uh, recommended or should be required for the sowing and the seed treatment with the thirum at the rate of 2 g per kg of seed can be recommended and crop rotation along with the spraying of copper oxychloride or xenum at the rate of 0.25% can be advised for the control of this early blight so the next one is late blight which is caused by pythoptera infestans so coming to the this uh, symptoms uh, so we can mainly see the water soaked lesions can be appeared on uh, leaves if you, if you can see here water soaked brown color lesion can be appeared on leaves initially this small water soaked can lesions can be seen later stages this small uh, lesions can spread to the entire leaf 
so that the entire leaf look like a very very big spots or brown color uh, uh, discoloration or brown color spots can be observed on leaves so if you want to clearly point out olivaceous greasy appearance if you want to write in exam this will be the correct terminology olivaceous greasy spots can be observed in uh, leaves as well as fruits also so we will uh, discuss in detail about this late blight disease when we get entry into the potato because uh, because of late blight of potato only there is a new division or there is a new subject or there is a new group can be uh, evolved that is plant pathology so the main reason for the evolution of a plant pathology is the late blight of potato so that we can discuss uh, in detail or much more information uh, in potato or some other classes when we get entry into in deep about the subject matter so the fruits remains firm uh, fruits remains firm and uh, in, in rare cases and cracking of fruits and appearance of uh, uh, mycelial growth in fruits also in observed in rare rare cases in tomato i don't think that uh, there might be a fungal appearance in fruits but if you see leaves as i told you that olivaceous greasy spots along with water soaked lesions can be observed on leaves so coming to the management aspects of propylate uh, prophylactic spray of uh, copper fungicides the dithiocarbamates at the rate of 0.25% can be recommended uh, if we observe that cool or uh, climatic weather uh, i mean uh, uh, cloudy environmental conditions because the favorable environmental condition for phytophthora is uh, cool and uh, less temperatures so maybe below 18 degree centigrade sometimes if you go to potato uh, the potato uh, in potato the phytophthora requires 12 degree centigrade for juice pore formation and uh, that is uh, uh, for 18 degree centigrade for uh, uh, i think uh, sporangial germination so uh, mostly it will be uh, below 20 degree centigrade so if you observe that cool climate or if you observe that you know uh, 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 rainy environment or rainy weather i uh, better to go with a prophylactic application of uh, copper fungicide or that is di uh, or dithiocarbamates at the rate of 0.2% can uh, can give uh, protection so the next one is a wilt uh, which is caused by physarium oxysporum pharma species lycospersis it is one of the most uh, uh, most important and one of the most uh, 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 you know uh, considering uh, considerable disease in uh, um, if you take in uh, uh, you know um, tomato the main symptoms as the name itself indicates a wilting of leaves initially yellowing of leaves and later stages wilting of leaves we can see here severe dying and severe wilting of scorching of leaves can be seen in uh, uh, leaves initially yellowing of leaves and uh, uh, wilting of uh, plants as well as uh, later stages dying and uh, yellow color discoloration of leaves can be seen if you see in fruits shrinking or we can see cracking also can be seen we can see, we can see here white color white cracking and uh, and shrinking of fruits or wilting of fruits also can be observed here so in severe cases a death of a plant can be observed uh, can be uh, occurs so the coming to the management aspects uh, seed treatment with uh, carbendazim at the rate of 2 g per kg of seeds can be recommended where uh, uh, we can also go with uh, uh, you know by control agents because uh, it is this, it, it is a, a soil strictly a soil bound pathogen so by control agents are uh, a uh, best uh, to use for uh, soil bone with any soil bone pathogen so bicontral agents are one of the best practices so on deep summer blowing and destruction of uh, uh, leaves and whatever the materials which was left in uh, previous uh, uh, cropping seasons also can be destroyed and crop rotation and removal of uh, uh, an infect, uh, infected unnecessary planting material can also be destroyed and uh, uh, soil drenching of carbon dizim 0.1% also can be advised to recommend or uh, to control this disease so the next one is a bacterial wilt where we had seen the fungal wilt here the bacterial which is caused by the bacteria which is caused by sulomonas solanaceae here and the symptoms are quite common that is wilting of plants and as well as you know yellowing i think in bacterial wilt we can't observe the yellowing in initial stages but in fungal wilt we can observe the initially yellowing of leaves and uh, uh, you know uh, wilting of plants and stunting of plants and dying of plants can be seen here the major uh, symptoms in bacterial wilt is uh, as usual uh, uh, wilting of plants as well as uh, if you cut open the plant we can see the bacterial uh, brown color ooze out or white color ooze out liquid can be seen so that is confined to the bacteria that is uh, identification character of a bacterial wilt which is caused by pseudomonas solanaceae here so coming to management aspects uh, crop rotation with the cereal crops or cruciferous vegetables uh, uh, can be one of the best management practice so the next one is the mosaic which is caused by tobacco mosaic virus uh, here we can see uh, 
yellow color or uh, green yellow color mosaic pattern or mosaic uh, pattern of leaves are especially we can see here discoloration of uh, leaves dark uh, yellow to uh, green color discoloration of leaves can be seen and uh, fructification of leaves also can be seen here but the major symptom is a mosaic uh, patterns or you know alternate green and yellow patches is one of the uh, most diagnostic symptom of a mosaic which is caused by tobacco mosaic virus so coming to the management aspects so use uh, use healthy seedlings along with the seed uh, treatment are soaking with the 10% uh, trisodium phosphate for 30 minutes can be allowed to uh, control this mosaic disease and along with the controlling of insects because the viral diseases are transmitted by insects so controlling of uh, insects especially aphids uh, for uh, spraying of monocotopus or methyl dimethan can uh, can control the insects so that we can alternately uh, we can uh, uh, ultimately control the disease so the next one is a leaf cold which is caused by leaf cold virus so the name itself indicates calling of leaves and yellowing of leaves can be seen we can see here culling or clinking of leaves can be seen and yellowing of leaves also can be observed in later stages what will happen stunting also can be observed most if you take whatever the viral disease the symptoms are quite common for almost all viral disease the first symptoms include yellowing of leaves maybe curling or maybe uh, you know uh, reduced the size or reduced the stunting of leaves can be seen and later stages so in severe stage what will happen the plant will die this is a quite common yellowing and uh, discoloration of leaves or curling of leaves is quite common if you come to the leaf curl so the name itself indicates curling or crinkling of leaves and this a uh, height of the plant uh, what can you what can i say that the length of the plant can be reduced or stunting of the plants so the size of the leaves also can be observed that is a fuckering size of the leaves also can be uh, uh, reduced and enation uh, different types enation is very simple enation means uh, uh, you know simply like outgrowths or uh, you know i mean uh, bending of leaves that is called can uh, said is that is enation so this uh, disease is transmitted by uh, a, a, a vector that is called uh, a white fly bemisia tabaci the scientific name this is the uh, vector bemisia tabaci so for recommending uh, uh, for managing this is we can spray monocrotopus 12 25 45 days after uh, uh, sowing to control the vector as i told you that if it is a vector born this is if we control the vector we can automatically control the uh, disease so for controlling a vector what we have to do we have to do uh, we have to spray uh, uh, insecticide because it is transmitted through insects so insecticide application can control the disease so the final one is the tomato leaf spot which is caused by tomato leaf spot virus so the clear symptoms we can see here spots or we can what can i say that you know uh, we can start with the initial with uh, leaves in leaves what we can see the stunting of leaves can be seen and the size of the leaves also can be reduced bronzing or size of the leaves can be reduced in early infection uh, what will happen in early infection necrotic rings can be observed on leaves in later stages uh, it, it can extends to petioles and the stems the same concentric and mosaic patterns or alternate concentric and mosaic pattern whatever the uh, mosaic symptoms that we had seen in leaves the same type of symptoms can also observed or appear in fruit also we can see here mottling or concentric uh, uh, rings or as well as uh, a mosaic mottling of uh, 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 you know uh, symptoms can be observed in fruit also so is the most important one which is transmitted by the tobacco to, sorry tomato mosa spotted wilt virus is transmitted by thrips there are all the species of thrips which are transmitted by uh, which transmit this disease so the thrips species which involved is franknella shulgi or uh, uh, scirothrips dorsalis can spread this these are all the different uh, uh, cause i mean uh, species of thrips which is involved in transmission of this uh, tomato spotted wilt virus and uh, especially this adult thrips can uh, transmit this is uh, this disease only when acquire the uh, only when it acquire the virus so for controlling our management aspects uh, we can go with uh, you know uh, application of systemic fungicides uh, till flowering for the control of vectors along with uh, uh, close spacing or uh, timely weeding also one of the management practices and along with we can also spray leaf extracts like uh, sorghum or coconut leaf that is antiviral principle uh, one of the best management practices that can be recommended for tomato spotted wilt virus so the spraying of leaf extract of sorghum or coconut uh, that is 1 kg in 5 liters of water at 10 17 and 24 days after uh, uh, transplanting or sowing can be uh, recommended so coming to the questions related to net or ars i think tomato is one of the most important one we can see tomato spotted wilt virus this, there are so many i think we had seen three viral diseases the most important one tomato spotted wilt virus which is transmitted by thrips so they may ask vectors the first one is the and then the 
uh, the tomato wilt that is a casual organism they may ask uh, uh, tomato fusarium wilt is caused by uh, fusarium axis for farmer species lycoparasitic casual organism so i think asking casual organisms along with this uh, 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 the vectors of tomato spotted wilt virus uh, can be uh, most probable questions that we can expect from uh, tomato